Okay, so in this section of the video, we're going to talk about PHP references. Now you can always spot a reference by the ampersand sign in front of a variable value. And if you'd like to learn more about references, you can find information about PHP reference values at php.net, or if you just search Google for PHP references, you can learn all about how variable references, function references, how all of that works in PHP. In this video, I'm going to do a quick example. I'm going to switch over here to my references example file and just give you a, a basic understanding about how references work with variables. Okay, in this first example, I, have, I am taking the variable string and I am assigning it a string value with the word hello. Okay, and then I am creating an another, another variable called str and giving it the value of string. So now this variable str is equal to the word hello. Okay, now I am setting the value of str to high. Okay, so now I'm just, here I set the value of str to hello, and then I just immediately reset it to the word high. Okay, now I'm going to echo, or that's PHP language for output. So I'm going to echo the value of string. Okay, so in this case, string was equal to hello. And these two additional uh, lines of code where I'm working with the variable str do not affect the value of string in any way because here in this line str just becomes a copy of string and then I'm changing it to high so when I echo this out I'm going to receive the word hello okay this is very basic PHP and it's it's if, if I just took these two lines out here it would be unaffected string equals hello I echo string Okay. You're going to see in just a moment why I have these two additional lines in here because we're going to talk about how this next section of code is a little bit different. Okay, So in this next section of code, you will see that it is almost identical to this section. The only difference in this section of code and this section of code is that right here there is an ampersand sign. Now you'll, notice, you'll also notice that here when I echo string, it does not produce the word hello, it produces the word hi. So why is that? How can one ampersand sign affect this so dramatically? And the answer is very simple. This variable string is assigned, uh, is set to the value of the word hello. Then I am creating here the variable str. But instead of this variable becoming a copy of the value of string, this ampersand sign specifies that this variable will become an internal reference to this variable. So here, whenever I change the value of this reference variable, str, to the word high, I am also affecting the value of string, which is why when I echo string out, I end up with the word high, because I am affecting here, when I change the value of string, I'm affecting both the value of string and or str and the value of the string variable. So that is how a reference works. So here, where you're making a copy of the value of string, you are not affecting the actual variable itself. Okay, But here, when you create a reference, you are affecting the value of that variable because it is not a copy, it is a reference. Okay, And again, you can learn all about references at php.net. Okay, so now let's flip right over here to my S2 hacks file and see how we can take advantage of this concept of internal references with PHP. In this hooks file, I have two functions de declared. This is one function and an action that is attaching that function. And then down here, I have another. Okay, all we're going to focus on in this segment of the video is this particular routine right here. This is a custom routine of my own and it is built into the S2 hacks file. Now what is the S2 hacks file? The S2 hacks file does not have to be named S2 hacks. If you've been navigating our forums for very long you've probably seen us talk about the S2 hacks file but we really just do that to keep it as simple as we can and as standardized as we can. But the truth is is that this file could be named anything that you like. And this file goes into your MU plugins directory for WordPress. So inside your WP content directory, 
and then inside your MU plugins directory you can place a file called s2hacks or with any other name you prefer. Now if you don't have the MU plugins directory, which a standard installation of WordPress does not by default, you'll just need to create this directory. S2 member and WordPress will both look for this directory and this means must use plugins. So any PHP files, regardless of what their name is, if they end with .php and they're in this special directory WordPress, the core framework of WordPress will load these files in right before all other plugins are loaded in that are configured in your dashboard. So that's great. That's exactly what we need whenever we're integrating something like this with S2 member because it allows us to configure action calls and filters in this file before S2 member is actually pulled into play. Okay, so this is why we talk about the S2 hacks file throughout our forums and this is a great way to, to make changes internally and attach your own routines to S2 member. Okay, now in the very next segment of the video I'm going to cover both of these line, these sections you see here, this function declaration and this line here that talks about adding an action, or it's calling add action, Okay, we're going to talk about this in detail.